let us solve one more question today so we have already found what is the sum of first n natural numbers what is sum of first square of n natural numbers so today we will try to find the sum of first the sum of cubes of first n natural numbers that is 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube and so on up to n cube so again, as in as we did for the squares, we will use a little trick here. Let us evaluate this uh, expression here. k plus 1 to the power 4 minus k to the power 4. If we evaluate this, let's say we write this as k plus 1 whole square multiplied by k plus 1 whole square. So that you can write as k square plus 2k plus 1. This is k plus 1 whole square, right? And then this is k plus 1 whole square, k square plus 2k plus 1 minus k to the power 4. And now if we try to solve this, you get k square, k square is k to the power 4, you get 2k cube plus k square. And then again, you get 2k cube plus 4k square plus 2k and then you get k square plus 2k plus 1 and then here we have minus k4 so this thing goes away and now I'll uh, add uh, add all the cubes so we get 2k cube plus 2k cube is equal to 4k cube then add all the squares adding all the squares you get 4 5 and 6 so 6k square and adding all the k's you get 2k plus 2k 4k and we get 1 so you would have uh, i think maybe already guessed by now what we are going to do we'll simply substitute k from 1 to n and then as you will see here that this thing will be 1 cube plus 2 cube plus so on up to n cube this will be 1 square up to n square this will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 and up to n and this will be n and we can evaluate from that so let us do that we substitute k as 1 2 3 so on up to n so if we do this what do we get for the first if we replace k as 1 we'll get 2 to the power 4 minus 1 to the power 4 this will be equal to 4 times 1 cube plus 6 times 1 square plus 4 times 1 plus 1 similarly if you substitute k with 2 you will get 2 plus 1 3 to the power 4 minus k will be 2 to the power 4 4 times 2 cube plus 6 times 2 square plus 4 times 2 plus 1 similarly if you substitute k with 3 you will get 3 plus 1 4 to the power 4 minus 3 to the power 4 is equal to 4 times 3 cube plus 6 times 3 square plus 4 times 3 plus 1 and so on so uh, by the time we reach n we will get n plus 1 to the power 4 minus n to the power 4 and here we'll get 4 times n cube plus 6 times n square plus 4 times n plus 1 and now if we see here as we had done in the case of squares so what happens here is this thing gets cancelled out this thing gets cancelled out this thing will get cancelled with here and so on so this thing will get cancelled out so in the end we'll be left with n plus 1 to the power 4 minus 1 to the power 4 which is 1 equal to 4 here we will get as common and what will we get 1 cube plus 2 cube so on up to n cube or we will get this thing here for summation of q from 1 to n and here we will have 6 times and then we have 1 square plus 2 square up to n square so we will get summation of k square k from 1 to n i'm going a bit fast here because it's similar to what we did in our last lecture and here we have 4 times summation of k and k goes from 1 to n and you add 1 n number of times so you will get as n now we know the we know this expression we know this expression 
and we know all the other remaining items and we just need to write an expression for this therefore what we have here is if we write 4 times this summation of k cube k from 1 to n then we will have n plus 1 to the power 4 so if we evaluate this expression then we will get n to the power 4 plus 4n cube plus 6n square plus 4n and this thing will go to the other side minus 6 now we know this expression it will be n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 divided by 6 this is what we found in our last lecture and we will have here minus 4 times this expression is n times n plus 1 divided by 2 plus n now what we have here is so let's say this we write this expression here as 4 times s n if we now just try to simplify the questions above what will we get we'll get 4n minus the 6 and 6 gets cancelled out and we have n times 2n square plus 3n plus 1 minus this will be 2 2n times n plus 1 plus n try to solve uh, this by yourself once and it will make sense this is just simplifying things and here we will get n to the power 4 plus 2n cube plus n square this is 4 and which will be equal to n square times n plus 1 whole square therefore in the end what we have is sn which is equal to summation of k cube k from 1 to n this is equal to n times n plus 1 to the square by 4 or n into n plus 1 divided by 2 whole square so this is our expression for the sum of cubes let's quickly write what we obtained until now so in the first part we solve this that is sum of first n natural numbers 1 plus 2 so on up to n this is equal to n times n plus 1 divided by 2 okay and then in our last lecture we saw summation of k square k from 1 to n that is 1 square plus 2 square so on up to n square this we found out to be n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 divided by 6 and today what we calculated was summation of cubes that is 1 cube plus 2 cube and so on up to n cube and what we found was n times n plus 1 divided by 2 whole square basically whole square of this term so you can keep these formulas in your mind and whenever you find these kinds of uh, expressions you can simply plug it in and find the value but the main thing which uh, to take away is the approach that we used in all of this case we use some simple tricks we use the method of difference to eliminate some of the expressions and then come to these kinds of conclusions so uh, you can imagine there can be a lot of questions framed based on these kinds of tips and tricks so now it is up to you to practice many questions and uh, familiarize yourself more with these formulas and the way different tricks can be used in mathematics